Thanks for staying with us. Um, world Polio Day, as the world, you know, Polio Day is observed around the globe amidst the COVID-19 pandemic on Saturday. Experts underline the need for continuing polio immunization program to help maintain a polio-free status, you know, globally. Um, polio has been a big issue in Nigeria, but we're happy for the progress that has been made. And we just want to keep, you know, the awareness at the front burner for people to know the importance and, you know, take it seriously. Okay, so, um, Lami, let me come to you. What did you find for us in the news today? Okay, it's about the IJP, Mohamed Radamu, um, giving instructions to the police in general, the police management in general, to reclaim the public space. Mm -hmm. So why this ticked it for me was, was there a conspiracy earlier? Did they need a direct order from the IGP to have done the, what was supposed to have been done? Was it, um, was it intentional that the security agencies, particularly the police, stayed off the roads to so that we can feel their impact. So we'll now start begging them to come back to the roads because this is statutory for them. This is what they should have done. I don't think they need any order from Abuja. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things happen and has ripple effects in Nigeria. When things happen in Lagos, it's a catch fire in Ogo State. Before you know it's happening in Ibadan. Now this thing happened some two weeks, some two days ago. Because it was not neat in the boat, he has started catching fire all over the world. And we are descending into a total state of anarchy and chaos. A lot of shops have been, lives have been ruined. A lot of people are going to be in the hospital as we speak here. Let me. I know of a customer, mm. my very good client is into money lending. So I, I, we spoke today and he told me that one of his clients, his customers, just took a loan from him, excuse me, of 100 million. She just imported goods worth of 100 million. Everything has been cut away. So they looked on for two, three days of this anarchy before giving a directive from Abuja. That's for this me, that's totally very sad, sad. Lami. Honestly, it's very sad. And you know, there, are, there has been allegations, you know, saying that it's, it's like the police deliberately looked away from a lot of this things. That's what when I'm it, saying. Yeah. Like, no, they, deliberate action. You are very, you are very right because there, there's been allegations that it's like they deliberately looked away because now it's, it's almost like, ah, she now una say una no want us. You understand? That kind of English. No problem now. Let me Ooh, see how you're going to survive quickly, without us. Can I just quickly cut in, please? Did you see the state of the judiciary? The Lagos State High Court, Igbosheri, hmm. is the busiest high court in Nigeria. I can say that without any fear. Of contradiction people's wills have been gone have been destroyed sorry cases that started 10 20 years ago records evidence all gone okay assuming that the hoodlums took over where was the fire brigade did they have anything in the vicinity of Lagos Island? That fire brigade so I matter. To put a stop to this matter. That fire brigade matter, eh, Lamy. Let's leave the fire brigade matter because these were, um, what's it called? Fire incidents, incidents is happening concurrently. So where would they have gone to? But, uh, How many uh, of the? But there should be priority. Uh, well, let me they take should have prioritized an arm of government. Well, let me. They should have prioritized the court. Honestly, this this is beyond me. I can't say it. And and, and I will go on my Instagram page. Oh, okay, video. Uwa, you said it was happening simultaneously. Did you see any fire brigade taking over any of these buildings? Did any of them show? Gonna, Where was last We're going to keep that conversation going. Let me let me get Uti's story. Um. Okay. So my my story is about the. Uh, well, the headline is uh, the government condemns, excuse me, the um, the raid on the, the the warehouse. Hoodlums loot COVID-19 palliatives in Plateau. Mm -hmm. So that's the headline. And this speaks to the looting of the warehouse in Bukuru community of just south. Now, this is just one headline of many. Um, I believe it was two days ago when the first warehouse was discovered in Lagos. In Maza Maza. Uh, there have been discoveries in Oshu, in Calabar, Thank in Kaduna. And, um, you know, again, like I said at the beginning of the show, so many, th I've seen so many pictures on social media. I mean, this has actually led to um, Governor Lalong calling uh, for another curfew or uh, which had been lifted 
oh, I believe reduced uh, in timing. Um, they've now gone back to a full curfew in certain parts of the state to curb um, these incidences. Now, given that we have seen this happening right across um, different states, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but as Lamy would say, I find it very interesting that some of these warehouses are just magically being discovered. Um, in very, like, you know, the first one in Matamaza, Matamaza is a densely populated area. Um, find it interesting that these uh, warehouses are all of a sudden being discovered. Is this because there is uh, less police uh, security agency presence? Or is this just, um, I don't even know what it is, but I just find it very curious. Uh, on the other side, I, I mean, when they say it's hoodlums, when they say it's touts, I've seen videos. These are just people, men, women, all running and carting stuff and away. Um, it still comes back down to that thing of, look, right is right, wrong is wrong. If two wrongs don't make a right. Um, the redistribution of these things. I saw a video the other um, yesterday of somebody who had about 20 something cartons of noodles in a house, about six bags of, of what could be Gary or rice, I don't know. And I'm thinking, how is this any better? So you've gone and you've collected your share. Like, you know, so I just, I, 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 I don't know that I can endorse accusing. it. I don't know that I can say that it's, it's, I understand that it's poverty, but I mean, we can't endorse it. We Absolutely. all can't continue so how, how to would you justify... be unaccountable because we say it is our right. It's our, you know, I, I just find that as Lamy Uti, said, can I cut you? Can I come in? can cut Lamy. We, we ran out of time. Um, but we are going to continue the conversations because I don't think we have our guest yet, but we're going to continue the conversations um, because I still want to talk more on this um, this palliative thing because we keep we keep talking about it you know it is okay it is okay until it happens to you imagine if it were your warehouse that was vandalized you know what is going to happen to your um, um your livelihood we'll take a short break when we return we'll be asking ourselves is nigeria worth dying for stay with us we'll be right back